Welcome to the Dice Tower, I'm Ella, and today we're exploring Armello, a board game based on the hit video game where players are immersed in a vibrant world filled with magic, intrigue, and peril. This game is published by King of the Castle. Armello is a strategic board game where your goal is to claim the throne of Armello through one of the two paths to victory. You can either achieve a regicide victory by accumulating 30 prestige points, then entering the palace to confront and slay the king. Alternatively, you can secure a proclamation victory by amassing a staggering 70 prestige points, instantly declaring yourself ruler of Armello. So gather your courage, assemble your heroes, and prepare to embark on an adventure. Armello awaits and the crown is within your reach. In Armello, each player takes on the role of a hero from one of the four animal clans, bear, rabbit, rat, or wolf. Your hero's unique abilities and strengths will shape your strategy. The game board is divided into hexagonal tiles, each representing a different part of the kingdom. From dense forests to murky swamps, each region offers its challenges and opportunities. Players track their hero's progress using individual player mats, which display their hero's stats, cards, dice, and quests. Let's look at Thane. They thrive away from settlements and is great at combat. Thane has a body of six, which is his health, a spirit of one, which is the range and tiles of his spell cards. He also has a fight number of three, which is the number of fight dice he can roll in combat, as well as a width of five, which is his hand size. Each hero starts with their own deck of cards and adds to it as they journey through Armello. They'll encounter perils, uncover secrets, and engage in epic battles. Now let's dive into the heart of the game. During gameplay, the table as a whole goes through Dawn, where you pass the first player token to the left, and then draw a declaration card where each player follows instructions. For example, Thane trashes a card from their hand, they then activate guards in a random region as determined by the region dice. They either move a present or add it if not. They then activate bear and rabbit clan NPCs if in play. All player heroes gain gold equal to 4 plus a number of settlement control tokens they have on the board. They is 2 so they get 6 in total. In the day phase, the active player takes her turn. Thane has a weight of 5 which means they refill their hand with 5 cards. They then re-roll their Armello dice, usually two per turn, but some quests reward you with more dice if you complete them, like this quest called the Rod and Ravens. Armello dice can be used for common powers. For example, this symbol gives you gold. The dice also activate additional effects on cards you play. In the main phase, Thane can decide to move to explore new territory. Some terrains are harder to move through like mountains, which cost two movement, whereas entering plains has no effect. Exploration may also mean entering a dungeon, where you must roll one or two dice to gain rewards. For example, these two symbols here give you this amount of gold. They also can enter combat by moving into the same tile as another player or NPC. They can also play up to two action cards like Brazenberry Ale, which gives you extra fight dice in a combat this turn. They then also spend their two Armello dice for common powers. At the end of this phase, they can decide to complete a quest or trade two experience tokens for a cooler experience card. You start with less powerful cards that you can upgrade with experience. You can also buy one or more cards from the market, then discard as many cards as you want, then draw back up to its size. All players go through the day phase in order before moving on to the dust phase. Spirit tokens are added if there are none. Banes are activated in a random region, as well as rats and wolves if in play. And then players gain magic equal to their spirit. Then the first player takes their night turn, followed by the player to the left, until all players have taken a single turn in night. The night phase is similar to the day phase, where you use your cards and dice to get closer to victory. Except there are different creatures lurking in the shadows. Let's take a closer look at combat which you can enter by moving into the same tile as an NPC, like a Bane. Thane chooses up to two combat cards from their hand, plus bonus combat cards. The Bane draws an NPC card. You check the combat half, which shows the total of automatic hits and blocks, and the lower half shows powers that could trigger given the right conditions. Then Thane reveals their combat card and rolls their fight dice, and spends our mellow dice to trigger any extra card effects. Whoever scores more unblocked hits wins. 
After combat, players may gain prestige and experience tokens for being an attacker, victor, slayer, or for scoring hits on an opponent as seen on this chart. Now speaking of combat, remember one of the ways to win is by regicide, or getting in combat with the king and killing them. You can do this by entering the palace once you gain 30 prestige. Combat is similar, but to claim the crown, the hero needs to slay the king without being slain in return. This means combat takes place over multiple rounds. The hero commits two combat cards plus bonus combat cards, then draws a king NPC card. The king though rolls fight dice instead of scoring automatic hits. The aim is to reduce each other's health through multiple rounds. Hopefully, once the dust settles, the hero is the victor. If not, the king's full health is restored and is ready to fight the next one. And there you have it. Armello is a game of strategy and daring feats, where every decision shapes the fate of the kingdom. Will you rise to the challenge and claim the throne? The choice is yours. Thank you for joining me on this journey through Armello. Until next time, may your quest be bountiful and your victories glorious. And don't forget to check out the link to the game in the description below. See you next time.